What's going on guys, Jarvis J here, and I'm gonna teach you how to get a free business email address. So at yourcompanyname.com. It's very, uh, very simple. You don't have to fork out a monthly subscription to someone like uh, Google for $6 per user or Microsoft, right? So the method I'm gonna show you is completely free and it give you a pretty good amount of storage and upload limit. All right, so let's dive into it. So what I use is Zoho. So Zoho is amazing and let's check this out. So if you go to Zoho Mail and go to pricing, of course you're gonna see some prices, but we're not trying to pay for a monthly subscription. So down here, what we're gonna go for is the forever free plan. This is awesome. Listen to this, up to five users, five gigabytes per user, and 25 megabytes attachment limit to send photos, documents, plenty of space for most small business owners, especially if you're just starting out. And let's kind of take a peek inside of the inbox to see what it looks like, all right? I know that's a big question. You know, does it look like it's something from Windows 97? No, it doesn't. All right, so here is what the inbox of Zoho Mail looks like. Very clean, very professional, um, comparable to Gmail or Outlook. And yes, it sends and delivers without the, without a problem at all, all right? So how do you get this for free at your domain? Uh, for instance, this is one of my marketing companies, piercingfocusmarketing.com. And every time I send out that, uh, Email, it can be from info or Jarvis at or sales or support. And that counts as a user, okay? Once again, you get up to five users. Five users, completely free, all right? So however you wanna send this out or if you have multiple team members, um, you could just give them access to your account and they can send from support sales whatever all right so how do we set this up the first thing we're going to do is go to wherever we are hosting our domain so domain can be godaddy i personally like to use namecheap to buy my domains um, but in essence they're all set up the same so what you're going to do is actually go to pricing okay so let's scroll down and sign up for the forever free plan. All right, so how do we connect the business name to our email address, all right? Uh, some of you may know this, but for those of you who don't, this is primarily who this is for, okay? So let's say my name our business name is leadfocusads.com. I want every time I send out an email to have this attached. Since we know that Zoho gives us uh, five users, they can be info, sales, your personal name, at, in my case, it'll be uh, leadfocus.com. All right. So that's what we're going to jump into now. So whenever you sign up for uh, the Zoho Mail free plan, um, it's very easy. You just put in your name, email address, and phone number, and then it's going to send you over to this page to get the email uh, set up to connect the domain name and also the email address. Okay. So hosting. What you're going to do is type in, in my case, it's going to be uh, leadfocus.com. I could just copy and paste this from Namecheap. And leadfocus.com. All right. Provide your organization name. It can just be lead focus. This always can be changed later. Uh, once again, this is just a test account. But I want to show you guys how this works. Let's say marketing advertising. 
and now okay your domain leadfocus.co added successfully now we have to proceed to domain verification all right for security reasons you need to verify ownership of lead focus so what we're doing is verifying that we actually own this domain we didn't steal it from someone else so txt record in dns for some people this may be a whole different language but don't overthink it in most cases what you're going to do to add this is go back to your domain you're going to copy this at sign copy let's go back and from the place where i purchased this domain this can be godaddy namecheap wherever we're going to go to manage and i need to go to advanced dns this is very similar on all of these platforms and i need to add a new record i need to add this record go down to tx this i need that to be at for host and then i am going to go copy this and go back to this domain paste sync it awesome okay we're good so this typically works um, right away, but sometimes it doesn't. So give it some time to verify. Don't get frustrated. And sometimes it helps when you actually refresh the screen. All right. Once again, this is what we input it into the domain area. So let's go back. Let's try it again. Verify it again. And all right, we verified it. So what do we want this the main name to be? So this once again can be my name, Jarvis, or info, or support, however you want to set that up. And this is for one user, okay? So for this, we're just gonna put support, that's fine. You're gonna create. Oh yay, so I'm set up, I'm good to go. Now we're gonna proceed to selecting group or set up groups. All right, and we can go back to groups. The groups is for the different users, right? So you can always go back to this part later and then figure out if you wanna give them certain access or no access, just to be able to read and reply to emails. All right, awesome. Now that the verification part is done, now we're gonna move on to something that's called DNS mapping. Uh, DNS mapping allows you to send and receive those emails. Um, so all we have done so far is just the verification part. So now we're gonna move over here and when it comes to DNS mapping, we're just gonna input all of this information um, into the domain provider. So. Uh, in my case, using Namecheap, we're going to scroll down until we see mail setting. Then, um, if custom MX is not available, um, you should see one of these options no matter what platform you're using. But in my case, it's going to be custom MX. And the cool thing also is that Zoho understands what platform you're using just from that domain verification. Uh, so when it sends you this information, it may look a little bit different, but for me specifically, they're trying to actually help me out, okay? So it's telling me that MX record is gonna be um, the following. All right, so host is at, so I'm just gonna go down the line. Um, I've already input this information, but I'll kind of show you the following steps, all right? So MX record, host is at mxzoho.com and make sure that dot is at in and then priority is going to be 10 and TTL is uh, basically the time you want all of this to be to be live in the system all right 
So if that is the case, let me double check. So it's good, good, already good. Now I'm gonna make sure that it's saved by clicking this little arrow. And then I'm gonna add a next record. Uh, I know this is gonna be at. Then I'm gonna go over here, MX2, copy, port priority is gonna be 20. So I'm gonna go knock this out. And I'm making sure that dot is at the end. And 20. And save. All right. Let's go to online. At. Let's go copy. that and 50 it's gonna be our priority so move it back copy paste and that was a 50 and now save okay so next steps is txt xp let me move this stuff all the way it's gonna be the txt record for SPF. Okay, so TXT is going to be another record. And all of these are for verification and uh, reducing the likelihood of your email landing into spam. Uh, this is essentially what these are. You can look at DCAM and SPF uh, on your own, uh, but yeah, it's pretty straightforward. See, spammers may force the email address in your domain to send out spam. Okay. So this help prevents that. All right. So we're gonna click on view this, and um, okay. So you just copy that. So whatever we put in there to validate it, uh, we can replace that existing record. Okay. So let's go back. So with this record that we inputted for the verification, we can actually select all, paste a new one in there, and be good to go. All right, so that's done. Okay. So we're done with this, and now we're gonna go to the DKIM, and spammers often send out emails that claim to be from um, authentic email senders. Uh, so we're gonna input this, new txt record within namecheap so we go to add record txt okay save so yep so the host is going to be the z m and then the value is going to be um this information Let's verify, let's see if that worked. Nope, let's go back and refresh the screen. And give it a little time. Okay, so all of the records have been verified. Once again, uh, double check to make sure that you input these records correct, correctly, and that's it. So next step is gonna be the email migration. So if you are using um, an existing email service, Gmail, Outlook, whatever the case may be, they do have a way for you to migrate all of that information that you're currently using over to this, uh, this new emailing platform.